Hello everyone. Now let's try to understand that how do we find the equivalent resistance for some resistors in series. We already know that how do we connect these resistances in series. We take the first resistance and connect its one end to the other end of the second resistance. Then we take the other end of the second resistance and connect it to the third. Then we connect this whole assembly to the battery. So we get the circuit something like this. Then we had also understood that the current which is flowing through all these resistances, resistance 1, resistance 2 and resistance 3 will be same. So let us say that I current is flowing through all these resistances. Now if I say that the voltage across R1 is V1 and voltage across R2 is V2 and voltage across R3 resistances is V3. Then we can say that the whole voltage applied is V. So this V will be equals to the sum of V1, V2 and V3. We can say that V is equals to V1 plus V2 plus V3. So let's write it down. V is equals to V1 plus V2 plus V3. Now if I take resistance 1 and apply Ohm's law on it. We already know what is Ohm's law. Ohm's law is V is equals to IR. So if I apply Ohm's law for resistance 1, the voltage across resistance 1 is V1. So its Ohm's law will be V1 equals to I current is flowing through all these resistances. So V1 will be equals to I into R1. So I can apply Ohm's law for this. So for R1, it will be V1 is equals to I into R1. This is why applying Ohm's law. Now let's apply Ohm's law for the remaining resistors R2 and R3 as well. So for R2, voltage across R2 is V2 and this will be equals to I into R2. Similarly, we can apply for R3 as well. So for R3, V3 will be equals to I into R3. Now if I say that instead of these three resistors, if there was a single resistance which was connected across this battery such that the same current was flowing through that resistance. So we can say that that particular resistance will give us the equivalent resistances of these three resistances. So we can consider that resistance as RS. So RS is connected across the battery V and I current is flowing through RS. So we can apply Ohm's law for this RS resistance as well. So for RS resistance we can say that V is equals to I current is flowing and resistance is RS. So this RS stands for the equivalent resistance in series. Now we can put these three values in equation 1. Let's say this equation to be equation 1. So let's put this. This will be I into Rs will be equals to the value of V1 we are calculated as I into R1. So this will be I into R1 plus V2 is I into R2 and plus I into R3. Now if you observe, if I take I common in this term, so what will come? R1 plus R2 and R3, this will come common. So let's take it I common. So what will remain? R1 plus R2 plus R3. And this is in turn equals to I into Rs. Now if you observe this I and this I are same so they will get cancelled and finally our Rs or resistance in series will be equals to R1 plus R2 plus R3. So this is how we find out the equivalent resistance for three resistances and it come out to be Rs is equals to R1 plus R2 plus R3. Or we can say that it is the sum of 
all the resistances. Now, just consider that in, in place of three resistances, if we have n resistance, then what will happen? The voltage across first resistor will be V1, second will be V2, third will be V3, and so on, and last resistor will be Vn. So we can again write V as the sum of all these n voltages. So this will be V1 plus V2 plus V3 and Vn. So V will be V1 plus V2 plus V3 and till Vn. So again, in place of this, we'll write V1 equals to IR1, then we will write V2 equals to IR2, and so on, Vn will be equals to I into Rn. And similarly, we'll find out that if we apply this relation again, finally, in the end, we'll find out that Rs will come out to be R1 plus R2 plus R3 and up till Rn. So we can say that when we are finding resistance in series, then the equivalent resistance comes out to be the sum of all the resistances. Now if you look at this relation, which gives the equivalent resistance of resistances in series, this says Rs is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3 up to Rn. So if we analyze this relation, you will find out that the equivalent resistance is always greater than any individual resistance. Now we'll try to analyze some questions based on this concept. So let's try to understand the concept by this question. So this question says that there is an electric lamp and a conductor of resistance 4 ohm is connected with this electric lamp and they both are connected to a 12 volts battery. Then we have to calculate the total resistance of this whole circuit. Then we have to calculate the current which is flowing through the circuit. And lastly, we have to calculate the potential difference across that electric lamp and the conductor. These things we have to calculate. So first, uh, let us find out that whether these two resistances are in parallel or series. Now we know that when the resistors are in series, the same current flows through the resistances. So let's switch on and let's find out that whether same current is flowing through both of them or not. So when we switch on the current, we'll find out that the current will flow from 4 ohm resistance and that same current will also flow through that electric lamp. So we will say that these two are in series and we easily know that how do we find the resistance of resistors in series. We just add all the resistances. So first part is we have to find the total resistance of circuit. So we can easily apply the resistance in series concept. Rs is equal to R1 plus R2. So, we can find out the total resistance as Rs equals to the resistance of the conductor which is given as 4 ohms and plus the resistance of the electric lamp. So, this will be 4 plus 20. So, this comes out to be 24 ohms. Next thing is we have to find the current which is flowing through the circuit. Now that can be found out easily. Since we know that the total resistance of the circuit is now 24 ohms and the voltage is 12 volts. So we can easily find out by applying Ohm's law. Ohm's law is V equals to IR and we have to find the current. So I will be equals to V upon R. So we can apply Ohm's law. I is equals to voltage applied upon total resistance. So V is 12 volts and resistance we had calculated to be 24 ohms. So this comes out to be, this will get, get cancelled, this will be 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 value is 0.5. So we'll say that 0.5 amperes of current is flowing through this circuit. Lastly, we have to calculate the potential difference across the electric lamp and the conductor. So this we can easily find out again by applying Ohm's law, which is V equals to IR. So the current through both of them is same, that is 0.5 amperes. So we'll multiply 0.5 first by R1, 
then by R2. So we can calculate V1 and V2. So let's calculate V1 first. V1 will be, V1 is the potential difference across the conductor which whose resistance is 4 ohms. So this will be, V1 will be I, I is 0.5 into 4. So this comes out to be 2 volts. Similarly, we can find out the potential difference across the electric lamp by applying Ohm's law. The resistance of this electric lamp is 20 ohms and we know the current through the resistance is 0.5 amperes. So we can calculate V2 as V2 current is again the same 0.5 amperes and resistance is 20 ohms. Now if we multiply these two, we will get 10 volts. So this will be 10 volts. And now if you notice that the sum of these two voltages comes out to be the net voltage which we had applied against the device. So we can easily say that that in series the sum of voltages is equals to the net voltage which ha we had applied across the resistance. 